lands, mans, wans, vans. What are we interested in? Tell them what you're going to tell them. Also, operating systems. Now, when we look at typefaces, we're not really, really worried about kerning or serifs, but we are worried about descenders. Y, P, and the other descenders. And underlining. No underlining, please, unless it's a hyperlink. Who was the person who invented the hyperlink? In 1989, it was Tim Berners-Lee. All right, there were five parts to the hyperlink. You should know these for the examination. Okay, we're going to look at an introduction to lands and wands, the Ethernet connection, routers, protocols, network security, animation and summary. All right, now if we look at lands, let's have a look he here at lands. We're going to create a local area network that consists of two desktop computers, one notebook computer, an inkjet printer, a photo printer, and a cable modem. We'll be creating an Ethernet using a physical star topology and 10 base T cables. Our first step is to check each computer for an Ethernet card, a type of network interface card. The first desktop computer already contains an Ethernet card. We can tell by the RJ45 port in the back of the computer. The second desktop computer needs an Ethernet card, so we've purchased an inexpensive one that supports either 10 or 100 megabit tramp. Okay. Now that was looking at a local area network. All right. Have we got another view of a local area network? Close in proximity. Could be computers in the same home. Could be computers in the same office. Could be computers in the same building. But when you talk about a LAN, you're basically talking about computers that are relatively close to each other, that are connected and part of the same network. They can share printers, they can share server, or servers, they can share documents and so on between each other. So a local area network is a type of network wherein the computers are in relative close proximity. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so we're talking about a network covering home, college, office, or church. All right, now the person who invented this was Bob Metcalf. Well, I say he invented it, he was part of a team who invented it. All right, Ethernet equals communication on a single cable or network. Okay, well, fair enough. What about a WAN? If your company is spread over a number of locations, the chances are you're going to need a wide area network to help share data between the sites. Fortunately, at Opal, we excel in providing that service. Our managed IPVPN product allows you to consolidate numerous traffic types, such as voice, video and data transfer, into one streamlined IT network. It's fast, reliable, scalable, and will ensure your network security, as well as providing cost savings and improved efficiency. For those with a smaller number of sites and closer together, we can provide private networks, which offer the highest levels of capacity and network security. OK, so we can see a WAN, all right? A wide area network either going across countries or going across regions within a country. 
the Paolo Alto Research Centre. It was there that Robert came up with the Ethernet connection. Also at the same place was laser printing, the mouse, icons or pictures and graphical user interface. Now what you should do is some work on the process of laser printing. The process of laser printing. So you clean the drum, you charge the drum with an electrical charge, you write the image onto the drum and then you transfer the toner onto that image. You then pass the paper over the drum you transfer the image to the paper, you try to eliminate static from the paper and then you fuse the image to the paper. OK. If you look at early printing, what was done was a printing press. So you inked up these printing blocks and then put them into a, into a a mould, a holder, and then pull these down onto paper. OK. Now what's the point of a router? What we're looking at here is a Wi-Fi, a wireless fidelity. You've got a, here your router, but there you've got a dongle. All right, so in comes a signal from the internet to this. This sends the signal out to the dongle. No cables. A protocol is a set of rules, a standard set of rules for, for representing um, signaling, authentication, error detection, sending information to the network. All right. rules the computer uses to com communicate with other computers. OK, now what's protocol? Protocol is, is how you meet people or greet people. How you handshake them or do you bow in this way? All right. There are protocols about computer-to-computer -computer security. If a machine is connected to the network, then it's accessible to many other users. Once it's accepted, accessible to other users, then you have problems. Unauthorized users, vandalism. Now, there are three types of controls that can ease your mind. The first one is to put on a password a guard or a lock on the door may deter entry. Now the password, what we're thinking is that a password should contain w letters and numbers and symbols, upper and lower case, and perhaps 12 plus numbers of these. Controls, antivirus, programs. AVG puts out a free one of these. All right, so each of you on your machine should have an antivirus program. Handing in an assignment with a virus means that you will be failed on that assignment. So take your USB to the library and check out that there's no virus on it hackers. Now what's a firewall? What companies try to do is to is to put a wall around themselves and stop people getting in. Of course hackers try to hack their way in through various networks. The companies try not to be on public networks. They try not to be on Facebook. They will say to staff, do not go on Facebook during work hours and try and prevent 
the Facebook community having access to their data, to their files. All right, one last thing. Animation. Animation is one of the five things that Tim Berners-Lee came up with. What were the five? Text, pictures, animation, sound, and video. Now, if we say animation, how is it done? Well, you can create an animation using Paint and Microsoft GIF Animator, which is a free download program. Let's have a look here. Now here is an animation created using a post box, pillar box, and a stick man. Have I put the stamp on? He's inside. Having a look. Mm hmm. Right. Shall we replay that? The letter. He posts the letter, then he thinks, have I got a stamp on it? Gosh. Inside, he looks at it, ah, takes a stamp, sticks the stamp on, burns himself, comes out, and then goes. Now there's another one here, alright, and what that's looking at is the process of making an animation. Now if we look at that, there it is there. Okay, let's see how we get on. Now what it's saying is basically, go to the paintbrush, creating an animation and draw a stick person. Creating animation is simple, really. All you need to do is to decide what you're going to do. And draw it freehand. Don't use any of your straight mm. lines or what have you. Wants to go for a walk. So there's our stick man. There he is. So there's the first drawing. Having drawn that, Control A. Now the first thing you need to do is to Control A for and then Control C, which control C it, for copying. And then go to, click on to here. GIF, Microsoft GIF Animator and go to and now control, control V. V. And you see my picture. The next thing is to go to animation up here. GIF Animator. If I go to animation and click on looping forever and then, and then finally forever, go down here and set a time. I choose my image and seconds. set a time. Let's say or 1100 11 seconds. seconds. Now if we play now this, if I of course he doesn't move. And preview it. What you need is a second Nothing is happening. picture. And why not? Okay. Because there is no movement. So I take my, to produce my movement. just move it I have to move fraction. my man. Alright, so I'll on. move him along. Move the arm a bit. And then after that, you are. I'll give him Redraw some the arm a bit. to be moving. Alright, well let's say now We've got him swinging that arm. All right, once again. Putting that hand. Control A. So he's Control moved C. the fraction. We've moved him forward. Then go to A. Microsoft Get Animator. Control C. Control V. Click on here. Control Put V. Put in a time. So now we've got 11. a movement between the two. I need to add time. Now if we play it, that's it. Okay, okay. we've got some movement from our, our And then animation. play it. That ah, is all there is to it. see some movement. Now, of course, now I'm sure I could allow it to go on, but I won't. I can move it this on. again, that, and make something more happen. And of that course, the variation is down to is how to do an animation. Draw it here, copy it, paste it onto there. 
and then go back and follow the instructions again. All right. I was looking this morning at making an animation of the five multimedia items. There was T for text, S for sound, P for picture, A for animation, and V for video. There it was. All right, there's a summary. Contents, introduction to lands and wands, Ethernet, park, routers, protocols, some network security, and animation. That's it. Thank you very much.